Hi, this is Adele, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use all kinds of things all around your house for something really fun. So please hit the subscribe button, and if you want to get weekly videos every Saturday morning, they're full of fun tips and techniques about art and about painting. And if you like these, please click the like button and share it with all your friends. So let's go have fun, and let's get started. Let's get started mark making. Now, just to let you know, there, is, there are so many things around your house that you can use to make marks. And I'm gonna show you, I went through the kitchen, I went through some drawers and just pulled out maybe 10 things, random things. And I'm doing it on watercolor paper and I'm also doing it on deli paper in case I wanna keep, and then I'm gonna keep them and um, I can use them as collage later but I also want to just see how they work on each piece. This is just um, a recycle of some yogurt. Ooh, and I love this. So this is fun. This is just a yogurt. So that's what it looks like on that. Let's see what it looks like on the deli paper. You could fill it up. You can tear this later for collage. But just to mark making, I love circles, I love patterns, and I do a lot of collage. So those are great. Let's put that aside and this aside, and let's go on to the next thing. So the next one is going to be, um, the next one is going to be, this is an empty olive jar. Oh, wait, let me see. We're gonna straighten this out again just to show you. Now let's see what kind of mark this is gonna make. I have no idea. Okay, patterns. I love to do a lot of patterns. So this would be great um, to hold aside for when I wanna do a whole, a painting with, and it doesn't have any patterns. And I wanna add some patterns. I could use this. And so I'm gonna do it on both papers because the deli paper is transparent and you'll be able to put it over something and be able to see through it. Whereas the watercolor paper is not. So it's great while you have this out and you're doing it to do it on two different types of paper. So let's put that aside. And let's see what's next. Um, oh, one of my favorite things is Q-tips. Q-tips, I do random dots And I can do, I don't like dots that are perfectly ordered. Sometimes I want those. So you can do those in any order. You could do that on part of it. And then the other, you could just do random ones. And the other thing I like to do is take a few, maybe three and group them together and then make that kind of mark. That's a wonderful one. And you can make it, I like it when they're sparse and then when they're really thick. So you want a variety. And you are gonna use all these papers later for something else, so work those. The other thing, let's go to something I have no idea. This is a carrot. I just cut the small one in half and I love that's the size of the circle that I'm getting. So you don't have to even think, just go through what's in your refrigerator, what's in your kitchen drawer, and then you're gonna have to spend, whoops, some time, and okay, let's take a look at what that is. You can even draw with it somehow. All right, and then I got another smaller carrot just to do a smaller circle. So experiment with large, small, um, all kinds of things. All right, what's the next one? Speaking of circles, let me, let me do this. So we have a, a wonderful piece there. This is a bamboo skewer. I use this all the time. Now it is a different kind of mark. It's a smaller circle, but I still really like this a lot. It's, um, sometimes I just want small ones. 
So that's that. Then there is um, this for lines. Repeated lines. Or you could do it for straight lines, for drawing, long lines, thick lines. And I pull, I'm pulling a little bit of the paint here so it's a little bit thicker. This is a palette, a plastic palette that I use all the time. You could do that. Just play with these because later you're going to, if you do collage, which I use a lot, you'll have them in your stash and they'll be ready to pull out anytime you want. So uh, let's see, these still more circles, circles. I want to show you something that's not a circle. And this is one of my favorite, which is a surprise. No one would ever think of this, but I paint with this all the time, saran wrap. And I lightly put it on and pick it up. And then you can, it will give some kind of random mark. Look how fabulous that is. You can't plan that. So let's put that aside and I'm going to do it again just to show you on a plain piece of paper. Now you could push it hard and get more solid. You can push this down and pull it up. You could fill it and make a background. This to me is one of the most, one of my favorite ways to make marks on, on paintings. I never know, they're always surprises, but I love that. So anyway, please experiment and um, try different things and let me know what works for you and what marks you love to make. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.